You found the new Harvey 1019, New York's number one for throwbacks. What's up, everybody? I am super excited. Today is day one of LA Key in the afternoon. I couldn't be excite, more excited. So happy to be here with you guys. We have a very special guest that's going to be calling in today. Uh, shortly, we have Nas EBK coming in. Um, we're going to get into a few hot topics, um, but super, super excited to be here with you guys today. And we're going to get into Nas's story. We're going to see how he's doing. We're going to just basically just catch up with him and see how every Thing is going for him. Um, we're going to play some music for you guys. Uh, we want to let you guys know that this Thursday I am dropping my EP Abraham and Sarah with artist Bless Biggs. This Thursday, 1 1, we're dropping Abraham and Sarah, the new EP. So we have a lot of few things coming. We're going to go into some music from the EP and uh, we'll, we will be back. Yes. Well, well before, uh, welcome. Yes. Thank you uh, from from L.A. Did you let the people know your show? Yes. L.A. Key in the afternoon. I'm super excited. Every Monday from every Tuesday, from two, two to, to three. three. Two yeah. to three. Yes. So we're actually every day, two to three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought it was just Monday. Oh, yes. excuse me. I'm sorry. Every day <laughs> from two to three. All right, all right. Yes. Congrats. All the way. You know, I've never been to LA before. Really? I need to get out there. I've been to Vegas uh, four, three, four times, uh -huh. but I haven't been to LA. I have to get out to uh, LA. You definitely have to get out to LA. You know, uh, well, how, how, well, I'm, have you ever experienced snow, snow weather before? Yeah, so I've been out here um, the last three years. I've been back and forth between L.A. and New York, and I have experienced the snow. I've been around snow since I was a child, too, as well. So I, I love snow. That's another reason why I like to be out here. Me, personally, I like to get, like, the white Christmas. <laughs> mm, well, I don't, uh, they said it was supposed to be a lot of snow. What was it yesterday? But it was, like, little flurries and rain. So they're so, saying that, but I don't really see anything. I don't think. I think because then the snow in L.A. was it last year, the year before last, I a wasn't little there. bit. They said it something happened. And <laughs> I heard Houston too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wow. So what? What? What is it? The, the climates of the world's changing. All the hot places are getting I, what? What New York used to get? Literally, it's insane. Mm -hmm. So what are we going through? The, the climate control is actually happening all over the world and so you get snow in LA. My family called me from Burbank and they were like they experienced some snow in Los Angeles. It was the most insane thing ever. And people want to move away from New York to go to the warmer places to yeah. get that warmer uh, uh, weather mm -hmm. but I don't know. I think uh, well I do want to get out of New York. I ain't gonna lie. Really? Um, I want to you know, most people I'm talking about get, going to another state but I'm hearing people want to leave the country. Wow. They yeah, want to live yeah. in another country now i talked so. about i talked about you know leaving but not completely i would like to you know do like what i'm doing between la and new york but not leave like the country permanently that would be a bit much for me but i definitely would think about you know going to um london and living out there for a while mm. yes mm. a lot of people i'm hearing going to the motherland yeah, a lot I've of been people are moving lot. to the motherland. Oh my god! You know I mean? So there's been a ton of people that I know noticed that have located to Africa, like mm. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I mean, the the music scene is is picking up now with Afrobeats. So it's it's really in the Nigeria area and and it's in certain other regions out there. So it's becoming big. Um, I know the industry is definitely are targeting in more on latin music and afrobeat type style yeah, music I love so the, the, yeah. the afrobeat thing that's like a new sound i'm actually really into that sound right now yeah 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 yeah. So yeah, just welcome. You know, I won't want you to feel alone. You know, um, Thank you know. You. I know most of the time you're probably with D as well, but when he has to, uh, he's working right now. So when he's working, you know, saying he calls me in, I fill in, help him out, and um, you know, again, welcome. Yeah. You know, so let's yeah. get into get into the joint. This is uh, what I got here. Uh, this is uh, ble uh, bless oh, he's bless calling Biggs. in actually. Oh, yes. Let's see. Do I have him? I ain't seen him calling yet. Yes. Wait, wait, no. No, I'll give you the number. We're going to go into a music break and I'm going to give you the station number so you can call in through the board. Okay. 
So we're gonna go into this uh this song right here. We'll be right back. Streaming okay. online at party1019.com. This is New York's number one for throwbacks. The, the new Party 1019, a Nexus radio station. My baby, she got me focused. My heart was number than the coke. My baby, she got me focused. My heart was number than the coke. My baby, she got me focused. My heart was number than the coke. My baby, she got me focused. My heart was number than the coke. You know that greatness is a state of mind. Got an empire in the state of mind. Want these new M's, gotta get in line. But these do is gotta get in line. Corporate meetings and round tables, we bosses. Now the two seaters a portion for my gorgeous. Scars delegated a fortress and it's flawless. Big torch like Miss Liberty, still be cautious. Consequences come with good and bad choices. I just need an island where it's sunny, yeah. yeah. I got the LA key, she get that shmoney back. You know that? She got me saucy, baby, got that. <laughs> like to be bossy, she like that, I'm cool with that That door closed, I be laughing at her running ass Don't worry, I won't tell you Vicky's secret That body touched by God, heavenly features My baby better me, we made it from the bottom Now the top is so much better, you gotta give us the credit My pins are ghosts, he do the edits, call me for editing Red and white, long stem roses Seen everything, she never posted Counting my blessings these days, must say it's wonderful yes. Still can show you what the jungle do. This suit costly, can't even pronounce it. My face will get a soul in the club, still tip the bouncers. Came a long, long way from public housing. Now we buy houses, ownership is power. Kingpin, LA Key, the world is ours. My daddy got me focused. My heart was colder than a snow kiss. My daddy got me focused. My heart was colder than a snow kiss. My daddy got me focused. My heart was colder than a snow kiss. My daddy got me focused. My heart was colder than a snow kiss. From the bottom to the top, it ain't lonely at the top. I got my day ones with me. Same ones that started with me, still right here with me. We deserve to live heavenly from the Hamptons to Beverly. Walking in these blessings so abundantly. Manifesting the prophecy. It's no coincidence, it's all destiny. What was hindered has been released to me. I'm LA Key, I got the key, the world needs me. Like Mars and Venus, I am a genius. Salute me as your highness, the real Miss McCoy. You fly, miss, I'm still God's princess. Seated right on the throne. The highest heaven is my home, sitting high, looking low. Prepare for takeoff, they ain't want me to blow. It's my time to go. Nothing about me, mediocre or average. Reaching my billionaire status, making my mama the gladdest. And these devils the maddest, it's giving them the baddest. Backseat of the Royce, I'm my hubby, only choice We on the same team, ain't no other choice I'm the wife, toast to the life We living good, eating good, no strife It's the good life, it's the good life, it's the good life My daddy got me focused My heart was colder than a snow kiss My baby, she got me focused My heart was number than a coke My daddy got me focused my heart was colder than a snow kiss. My baby, she got me focused. My heart was number than a coke kiss. You found the new Party 1019, New York's number one for throwbacks. Yes, that was Focus, Bless Big, L.A. I hope you guys are feeling it because that is one of the songs that will be on the EP dropping this Thursday. So I'm super excited. Abraham and Sarah is coming to you guys. You get a seven song EP. We're going to talk more about it on Wednesday. I'm going to have Bless come in and we're going to sit down and talk to him and get the inspiration behind the EP. But we're super excited because Nas is calling in. And so I'm sure his fans are very, very are going to be looking forward to seeing how he is doing and super excited to hear, you know, and catch up with him. So I'm excited as well to get into how he is doing and more. So before he calls in, I wanted to talk to you guys because uh, really quickly on a hot topic that I found 
that was um, actually we finally got the news of Hallie. And if you guys know, I work with Hallie on Grownish. So Hallie ba Bailey just gave birth to her son, Halo, which is congratulations to Hallie. And it's kind of controversial because you hear people talking, you know, you have some people that think it's good and then some people that are not too Which excited about it. Directly. But we have Nas this call. This call is in, not private. And so it will be recorded and may be in. monitored for law enforcement purposes. If you are an attorney, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register yeah. this number as a private yeah. number by going to www.nyc.com. G O V slash D O C. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi, how are you? I'm great. You? Excellent. Excellent. Well, I want to get right into it because I know time is of the essence, but let's get right into it. I'm sure your fans are eager to find out how are you doing um, in there. So, how are you? Um, I feel like I'm in a great mind state. I'm changing as a person and everything. I feel like I'm better in myself. And I'm just feel me. My my like my health is there. I got my weight up. All that. So I feel like I'm in, I'm doing great actually. Sounds good, and you sound really. You don't sound down. I've I've spoken to, you know, acts before, and they sound down. You sound like you're in a good place, and so I've heard some really great things um, that you've been doing lately. And I want to get into those things because it was very interesting to me. Um, but I hear that you're playing basketball in there. Uh, so can we talk yeah. about those things? Yes. Yeah. So basically, what it is about the basketball team is more than just basketball. Also, it's on my Father is no more program basically it's like um men of God. So basically we learn about God and stuff. Oh, wow. We do Bible studies. I love we it. We do a lot of things and then we have um Lala Anthony also participating in that. So she comes here weekly on uh, every Wednesday. She basically helps us host the inmates out well, not all the inmates but the people that's on the basketball team and provides for us on either on the outside things that we couldn't do and stuff like that. She helps a lot. So it's like it's more than just basketball. We also learn about God, have faith, reading the Bible, wow. and all that other stuff. So it's like, I'm, I turned Christian actually in here. You got what? Can you say that again? I, I, I turned Christian. Really? Congratulations. I'm yeah. a Christian as well. Thank you. So that's good yeah. news to me. Yeah. So, Nas, let's talk about lot. that. You said you've learned a lot? Yeah, definitely learned a lot. Wow, I love that. And so what what would be one of the things that, you know, just converting to Christianity that you feel that you, you know, like your connection to God, do you feel more connected to God? Like any things like that just from, you know, because I, I don't care what type of situation you're in when you get isolated, anyone, it can be, you know, you gone away from your family for a while, you know, you get isolated uh -huh. and you have this time. How would you say you, your your connection with God has grown just from being isolated in this situation? Uh, I feel like my connection with God has grown because of the fact that when I'm, I even when I'm sad, like before I pray when I'm sad or angry, now I just pray every day. Like it's just, it's just like, like before I feel like I was trying to force to do it. After I start doing Bible studies and I got a pastor here, so to the pastor on a daily basis, mm -hmm. it's kind of like God is what helps me get through my days. The times where I go ahead and feel like I'm losing myself, I can read, I can read a quote from the Bible. I mean, that's really it. I, I, I turn quotes, but just help you uplift you through your day. And it's like I always speak to God when I feel like I got no one there. And just yeah. having faith is what keeps me going. I feel like I'll be home soon. So it's like, I'm not really stressing. I feel like I'm just taking it day by day and letting God control my life. That's the best thing I can try to do. Wow, that's incredible. That's incredible. I wanted I to. Always, oh, I can't hear I always say, like, um, God gave me the temerity to mm -hmm. um, understand things that I cannot change and give me the difference. And, and um, let me understand, give me the wisdom to understand the difference from the things that I could and I can't. And it's like, at one point right there, I hope we get through a lot. I hope we get that one of those guys all the time. Did you hear that? Oh, okay. Hello? Yes, I'm still here. Hi. I wanted to ask you, it's just me, I, I don't hear you as well on my end. Oh. So, yes. So that's, yes. So I wanted to ask you, can you hear me fine? Yeah, I hear you perfectly fine. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. I wanted to ask you, you know, being away from, you know, all of these months and things of that nature, what do you feel like if you get when, you know, when things change in your favor and you get out, what's going to be different about you, you know, as far as out this, you know, out this time in, in back into society? I feel like with one thing that's going to be different about me when I get back home, I feel like I'm going to move way smarter, move strategic, and really stay away from, like, negative energy. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to still do the music that I do or yeah. change the music to, like, have, like, more, like, melodic and pain because it's, like, I have a lot of things to rap about and think about also. It's, like, it's a lot of things I've been through that, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to come home stronger than ever, and I feel like my health is what really going to be there because at the time, I was outside, I was really losing myself. So it's like, now that I'm in here, my health is like, way better. I'm not taking pills or doing certain things. My weight is up. So I mean, I'm focusing on a lot of other things that I wasn't focused on when I was outside. So like, I feel like I was caught up in a lifestyle, but it's like, when you get in jail, it's like, I, you're still who you are, but it's like, it's been a month in a lifestyle. So now you really got to find yourself. Yeah. So I found myself as a person. And now I can feel like I can inherit that to what I got going on. I just could out with I, I love that. I love that. And you know what? Like, that that's a really good point that you made. You talked about, you know, you can feel like your health is getting better. What would you tell, you know, some young people that could be, could have been, you know, that no, not could have been, but right now they're in this same situation where they're, you know, living this life. They're, they're doing a lot of drugs and stuff like that. What would you tell them, you know, maybe some advice as far as the drugs and, and, and you know, just. I'll say. Minimize the drugs and stuff that you do. Like, just do it the way you can. Don't try to overdo it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, just focus on a better. Because at the end of the day, you're going to need your health. Your health is what keeps you together. Yeah. Makes you look like how you are. Because you don't want to, you don't want to just be <laughs> weighing 100 pounds or something like that. And everything is just not going well. Because you got a lot of money being spent. A lot of things that you're doing wrong. Just mm -hmm. over addictions and things like that. Yeah. Like, you talked about, like you said, oh, you gain your weight. So, what, you, know, you have one minute left. Oh, wow. Nas. Nah, I'm about to go right back. I'm okay. about to go right back. Perfect. Perfect. So, yeah. would you say. Right now, I'm at, right now, I weigh like 200 pounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I oh. gained 60 pounds in here. I got arrested. I was like, one, yeah, oh I was like 153. Wow. Something like that. that is incredible. Straight muscle. My body was good. I'm like, I think wish I was doing this outside. Like, but yeah. it's like, sometimes I feel like it takes jail to make me like yeah. better myself and feel me behind myself for real. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, the people say, things got to happen. So, unfortunately, for you to change as a person. So exactly. Like, better than ever. Sometimes, Honestly. yeah. Sometimes it takes a negative, you know, the, it a negative turns... I can't say that that's cool, but a negative into a positive, you know, you turn a negative into a positive. Definitely. Yes. And that's uh -huh. what you've done. Definitely. It sounds so good. Yeah. I can't wait for you to call back to tap in to more. Thank you for using. Yeah, I'm about to call right back. Goodbye. Perfect. That is sounding so amazing. He sounds like he is in great spirits. I love the energy. I love the vibe. To be honest, I didn't know what to expect because I did like, different research on him and I did not know that he was going to sound just so his heart you could just feel the compassion and you feel the compassion and you can just feel um, just a transformation I didn't know him personally but I read a lot of different things and you can just see that you know change has occurred and it's a good change it's, it's very positive and I can't wait till he calls back to just get more deeper into just everything you know he had he has a few things i'm not going to talk about it until we get him on but we're going to definitely get into more and i think this is what this show is all about um tapping into the positivity and the good vibrations and he's definitely for the first show bringing that to you guys and i, I just believe this story is going to empower other young people that you know were living in the same situation similar to what he's been through i definitely think it's going to empower them as well and give them insight so what do you think from what you just got what you just listened to i didn't even know he was calling from a facility right? you know uh when i heard all i'm looking at y'all i'm like uh is this a bill collector <laughs> what's going on here right you know what I, mean? I was like but it's it's 
I mean, mentally, you have to be when you behind them four walls and behind behind all that, you have to be strong mentally. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and you know, I never been there. Don't never want to be there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some people be like, "Yeah, I ain't built for for jail." Yeah. Some people out here are kind of built for it. But I guess if you're in that situation, um, you will you. you if you wasn't prepared for it, you have to uh, mm-hmm. uh, get prepared for it, and and the, it all depends too of how much time you got to do because yeah. um, you know that's a lot of days. That's a lot of days. A lot of days. A lot of whatever years you might you <laughs> might uh, be a lot getting. Of years, yeah. Uh, speaking speaking of that, so tapping on that. So you seen the footage? I seen the footage of the the guy jumped over to the judge right to jump the judge oh yeah yes, yeah yes, yes, and he got yes. more time from whatever she gave him wow on, on, on top of that, that that's this, this crazy crazy this i didn't actually see the actual footage but i seen like the, the clips comedic, yes they could no they had like comedic footage oh where people were actually yes yeah, <laughs> yeah. so i didn't get a chance to see the actual footage but they have all of these comedy sort of skits going on, and I've seen it. And, uh, you know, of course, when they do those skits, they dramatize it a bit. But I right. heard it was similar to just that. Yeah. 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 Uh, man, that was uh, – that's crazy. He was just dead calm from one moment and the next moment. And he just – I mean, he leaped. Oh, that's crazy. Leaped over the whole that's, thing and then jumped yeah. on her and – you know, they said, I guess he was mentally disturbed or something like that or whatever, oh my God. whatever the case may be. But uh, apparently whatever she gave him, I, I'm sure he got a bit more on wow. top of that. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, definitely. So. He got a bit more. Like, you've never seen anything like that. Like, I don't know. To me, it, it just shows the world is really, really, really changing because you can imagine, a you know, someone, you know, getting their sentence and then they run up. And they jump behind the the you know the platform to to the judge. That's like and that was that's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even have the words. Literally. Oh, but then he's calling back now. Let's see. Oh, perfect. Let's see. Get him through. Let me see. An incarcerated individual at New York City Department of Correction. This call is not private, and you'll be able to. It will be recorded and may be monitored for law enforcement so, t- so, very guys, Wait. if Please you're tuning in, Nas e- e- EBK is calling in. He is calling right now, and so we're going to get into the second half of his story. As you guys know, he's in Rikers, serving uh, some time. So he's calling in as of right now. The flashy. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So you're back. I'm I'm super excited. Nas, let's uh really briefly so you um for those that are just tuning in, can you let your fans know again how you said you are doing currently right now? I'm I'm doing great. Um shout out to y'all. I miss all my fans. Sorry for what's going on, but I'll be back. I'll come come back stronger than ever. And um everything is fine. My energy's great, I'm moving positive. I'm just better in myself as a man. That's excellent. Nas, let's talk about, this is super excited. So I hear, I've heard about some of the things that Lala Anthony is doing at Rikers and you are at Rikers. Can you tell us, you know, um, I heard that you got a chance to connect with her in Rikers. So what's going on with Lala Anthony and what you've been able to do with her as well as a recruit? Yo, yo, check it out. It's your boy, Donnell Jones, and I'm chilling out. And- yeah. So what's going on with you and uh, Lala Anthony? Um. She's like, she looks out. She's like um, a great person. I ain't gonna lie. Once I met her, I wasn't gonna met her on the outside, but she she does for others. And it's like she she's great. Like she she will go ahead and do things that people wouldn't do for um people on on Rikers. You know what I'm trying to say? Like she'll take the time out her day to come over here, visit us, share us up, and just be positive. Or something, I think that's like that. That is excellent. And then I also, um, I hear that like you're working on a lot of new material for your fans that, you know, we got to know, like, so are you, do you feel more inspired? Yeah, we got, we got a studio in here. Wow. So me and Smokey, me and Smokey Martella, ASAP artist, uh-huh. we basically got like almost 
like two, you can make it one day. Like to go like two hours and we be going crazy. Oh my and it's God. not even, I'm not even on no drill or nothing like that. Wow. She's even making melodic songs and even singing and things wow. like that. And I, me, me, Smokey and Chef got a, got a song here too. We just trying to find a way how we could get it out there. Yeah. And not trying to let it send the songs out, but it's like trying hard. We're trying our hard to try mm-hmm. to get the songs to get out there. So I want to still be able to drop it to my fans while I'm doing my time at a correction facility. I just wish that they trying to, like, I'm trying to, trying to get them to meet us halfway. Like, you're making all this heat, and we can't even, feel me? Yeah. <laughs> we can't even do nothing for real. So they have a music uh, studio uh, program, music program in, in, in the facility? Yeah. We got a studio down there. We, me, Loki Chef, we probably go down there every Wednesday and Friday for about five hours, six hours. So what's that mic brother they got in the studio, Smokey? It's the mic. They got, they got the C-800 mic. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so like, every, everything is high class in here, like the, like you see how the you see how the studios is in like in the town and stuff, it's the same thing. Like you to think you was in quad studio. So <laughs> so do they have a outside person that engineer or is it somebody that work in there it's a, that engineer? It's a CO. It's a CO that engineers. So he's an engineer outside of him being a CO. So okay. he knows what he's doing and stuff. His name is Stone. He helps us out and stuff. He always takes to the studio and things like that. That's yeah. dope. That's yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it is. That's dope. Have, we did a show. We did the show with me, Smokey Chef, DJ Goon. There was a couple others that was part um performing at that show and things like that. And um, we had um, I believe Jada Kid's son came. Um, South C was here. Oh really? There was a lot of um celebrities in attendance. Um, what else was going on? We had um rough somebody from the Rough Riders came. So it was like we all trying we trying to work our way to a program we could get down there and make a lot of release some music and things like that. But we definitely got a lot of heat. And I'm definitely changing the way how I make music on there. Like all this other stuff, on some melodic, melodic leads. What? Keep going. Yeah. And what is your inspiration in there? Do you do you feel like you have a different inspiration with the writing up style that you have versus the writing style that you were doing prior? Yeah, I believe now I'm more like um. I'm way more versatile because I'm singing and I, I probably have melodies. So I'll probably go with other things. And I feel like before I would never write. I would always just do stuff. Now, now I'm actually writing music. So I just started beginning to write music. Because, you know, you and yourself, you're just in there all day. Yeah. Like, uh, like, oh, now I'm just writing. I'm uh, coming better so, as an artist. So oh, wow. Like, I feel like I'll, I'll be way better than what I was when I really? come back out. Just, like, now I got, I got songs. I got a lot of songs, like actual songs. Like oh, my God. First, and put the hook back first. Like, it's the format now. It's just a little different. So I just can't wait to get back out there. I'm feeling it. Like, I can't yeah, wait to like, hear some of this. Go up. It's crazy. I, Love not, songs, nice. act songs, everything. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. So he just said that he has even now he's writing more. Nah. So were you like, were you more like Jay Z before? Where you would just you know freestyle everything because you said you want you said you want. Yeah. Basically, what I would do is just get in the booth and go with the flow. I'll probably make a song in like thirty minutes, and after the end, I go back to the video, and that's it. (laughs) It was not really like, and it was working though. That's what it was. It was really working. So I was just like, why not? But I feel like now I'm really trying to perfect my craft. I feel like I was too caught up in the life that I was living at the yeah. same time. I was focused on being an artist. You get what I'm trying to say? I was living a life and making music just so I could survive at the time. Now I feel like I got the I got the energy and the the I'm, I got the path, like the tunnel vision to become an artist. I really want to be one of the best. So I'm trying to frame things down. I'm doing certain things that I would never do. I'm over here reading fiction every grabbing certain words and putting the words together and things like that. That's incredible. So it's like so you're you're totally logged in when it comes to the music. Uh, you know yeah. When, what You know, what I gather from you with all of this, I mean, it feels like this situation, I, as I was trying to say before, you know, it was a negative situation, but it's turning around in a positive situation because it's bringing out 
allowing you to connect with your best and your higher self, you know, and from everything that you're saying from music to taking care of yourself physically, which are all of the things that matter in life, right? Our health and, and being the best version and connecting with God. And, you know, I, I want to ask you, you know, because you've let us know that, you know, they have a studio in there and you're working on music. What do you feel is one of the greatest lessons you've learned, you know, from being there since March up until now? Like, what is some, one um, of the greatest lessons? I'll say patience. Patience? I feel like it's like, if it's Jill, it's like you're dealing with 400 different personalities. There's a lot of people that got different personalities. So it's like if people that's going to try to touch me. There's a lot of stuff that's being thrown at me while I'm in here. I feel like I got patience. I, I'm better with patience in the town. I didn't really have patience. It was like certain things would just kill me. Mm -hmm. It would just drive me, put me somewhere else. But I feel like as patience, I also feel like um, I'm also learning like how to basically like see like how to work with others. I didn't really know how to work with, with people and things like that. But now I feel like I'm more open because it's like important to live with other people. You also, like I mean, there's a lot of things you gotta just adjust to when you get to jail was a little different from what I was doing on the outside. So, like, wow. I, I learned a lot while I was in here. Definitely did learn a lot. Oh, I then love it's that. Like me, connecting to, me connecting to God just opened a whole other door. It's like, I have faith. And I wish I was, I wish I was connected to God the way I connected to God in here on the outside. Yeah. I feel like I was just doing way better. I love, I love that. I love that you... Yeah you know, connect it more with God. And, you know, you sound like you have peace. Um, am I clear? Am I right? Yeah, I definitely have peace all the way. <laughs> that, that I is feel like when I, I feel like I know how to control my anger. When I get angry, I go work out. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I'm yeah. It. So I, I was working out in the town. I was like, I, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? I'm like two times the size I was. I'm looking at pictures like, yo, I can't believe this is me. Like, I was just sick at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, And so is there anything that, like, that your fans don't know that you want them to know, you know, since they haven't got a chance to connect with you as much? What is a thing that, something that you want to tell them? Uh, There's some good news right here. When I first got arrested, I was um, fighting four cases at once. Now I'm down to one. So, yeah, everything is getting chopped down. Everything is going down one by one. I've been here for a year now. And now I'm down to one case, one of my last case. So, since I'll be on soon, I should get yeah, a little update right there. Okay. Well, that uh, is good. And I want to ask you some of this music that you're working on. Are we going to be able to hear? Any of this music with your 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 label? Will, you, will will they release this music or how does that work? Um, I believe they're gonna try to release it because I know once I get it to them, they finish me to get it to them. But it's like I'm I'm trying to get it to them, but it's like it's just it's hard with the um with the rules they got going on in DOC policy. So it's like I'm trying to get my um trying to get my one of my music my music lawyers on it, I'm trying to see what they could do. Try to email the jail. We're trying our best, to even chefs, all of us, we're really trying to get our music. And it's like they're giving us a hard time trying to get the music out. So it's like I'm trying to figure out a way. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure once I do that, I'm going to have songs for however long. Because it's like now I'm making songs with jail. And I can just keep dropping. Yeah. But it's like my ideas, my ideas were really what it was. We was going to do a lot of um cartoon art for like the songs and things like that, music videos. So that was what it really was going to be, like one of those videos. For example, let's say, um, see how Chef G was dropping um, songs and they had like a cartoon acting like it was him and they was going through the song and things like that. But I was going to do so, yeah. Oh, okay. And I, I want to ask you, um, being in Rikers, because I've seen so much on Rikers Island. You have one minute left. Is it is it really really difficult up in there for you? Like as far as like I mean, I say, as me growing up, you go on YouTube, you search at Rikers Island, and they make it seem like it's the craziest jail of all yes. time and things like that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's like don't get me wrong, it's dangerous and stuff like that, but it's nothing that a person can't handle. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. As long as you, as long as you got the head on your shoulders, you got you got to stay away from certain things in here. A lot of drugs in here that got people crazy, but as long as you stay. True to yourself, and you, I mean, you can get through it. It's not nothing nobody can get through. I've been doing it for a year now. Wow. I feel like 
I don't really feel like nothing. Oh, that's good. For like good. six months, for like two weeks, because it's like you live in the same thing. You're doing the same thing every day. You're waking up, same housing area. We got the PS4 in here. We got movies. We got a lot of things. So it's like, I don't really, I've been to other jails, and it's like, this mm-hmm. to me right here, it's the best jail for me. It's like, you got more freedom as in walking around. And, but Thank you for using I'm about Secure. to go right back. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, so what do you think about that? I, I I don't know. I still feel like a lot of good, you know, p- positive vibrations from him. What do you feel about everything? I was uh, <clears throat> I was shocked to hear about the uh, the studio and yeah, and, right. Well, because the reason why, because I worked at a facility, uh, for about over six years, and um, they had a studio up there, which was the youth, mm-hmm. and um. And uh, they had a recording studio there, it was, uh, and I ran it. I ran the studio, and um, you know the kids would come program, and I would show them how to engineer, they record, and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And um, so it's great that they, you know, they have it, and they should have it in jail. Yeah. And, they, and I was going to ask them, but um, yeah, you I, I believe uh, I believe they have. So you know how we have um. Um, the uh, what else? Uh, the DSPs, the uh-huh. you know, uh, title, and all these different things. Hold on, I gotta put this camera back on. Uh, go ahead, speak. I gotta put this camera back up. Okay, he's back. Oh yeah. So I wanted to also ask you. So as he talked about, you know, like he said, the the the, the studio. Did you think? How do you feel to when you come back? As far as just the energy that he has, because sometimes jail is not always a good place for everybody. Some people can rebel against the system. I feel like it's done, you know, some very good things for him in regards to it. You know, I feel like it's it's been a very positive situation for him. It's been. Um, I'm not sure if he's been in prison before, so I'm going to have to ask him. But to me, it seems like it's done a great thing for him. Yeah, so um, we're going to definitely get more into a few more things that Nas has going on. But I love the fact that he's in the studio. He's working on music. He's taking care of himself. He said he's getting into the gym. He's been able to, you know, he talked about like his anger when I asked him what are the greatest lessons that he's learned. And he said more, you know, like uh, patience. And so that's really, it's key. Did you, what did you think about that too? Isn't that important to have just that patience in life in general? Yeah. Um, well, like I said, well, I said before that, you know, it's, it's, it's probably kind of hard for the stuff that they used to do out here in the free world mm-hmm. and he, like he's i heard him say they got ps4 yeah and things of that nature so it's like they're getting some of the stuff that they will can do studio time for people that like music mm-hmm. and um maybe um maybe um you know they could they could uh you know, do some other things um, other than, and it's great that they can learn a lot of skills because a lot of them go to jail or in there um, when they're young. Yeah. So they kind of grow up in the, in that system and become a man and, uh, you know, later down the line, you know, and probably get out as an adult, you know, yeah. with the, whether they be in their 30s or 40s or what have yeah. you. So, yeah. you know, to learn a lot of those skill sets, you know, in in, in that kind of facility, because I want to ask them, like, that's why I asked them, is there an outsider that's an engineer that comes in and um, that uh, engineer all of the artist's music or mm-hmm. is it someone in there or, or I didn't ask them this, but will they be able to teach them how to work a studio mm-hmm. engineer and things of that nature? That's a skill set that you can, you know, take that and, and, and go and, and get a, a job once you get out of, of jail, you know, or I want to ask them where you get his beats from, like who's a producer or whatever, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Do are the original beats, do they go online and get their beats? That's one thing I guess you can ask him when he calls back. Yeah. That, I oh. want to ask him that too. And I don't know, but I didn't know that jail was like this before that you had all of these different, you know, you can get into the studio. Or it, I, but I'm going to ask him, I'm not sure if that's for anybody. Can, yeah. If anyone can, you know, tap into to that or is it just him you know like is it 
reckless. So just say a guy goes to jail today, right? And he's a recording artist. Do you think he can, you know, get into the studio or is it just, you know, recording artists? I, I definitely want to know how that situation uh, is. An incarcerated individual is that him? at New York City oh, okay, Department perfect. of Correction. This call is not private. It will be recorded and may be monitored for law enforcement purposes. If you are an attorney, please hang up and follow facility instructions to register this number as a private number. By so Nas is back and we're going to tap into him. He's actually going to be uh, chiming in right now. So we have Nas EPK, EBK back with us. Hello? Hey. Hey. Nas, I, I, um, I'm so happy that you're back. I was just telling your fans a few things that you said that, you know, like one of the greatest lessons that you've learned and just to catch them up, you talked about patience. And I, I just really think that is phenomenal. I wanted to ask you um, a few things because I heard that you've also um, gone back to school a while in there. Can we get into that a bit? Oh, I feel like. I just want to get my GED. Honestly, I feel like I dropped that when I was in ninth grade. Unfortunately, for the circumstances that was going on in my life, uh -huh. I had a lot of things going on. I was, um, I really had basketball dreams. Once I got kicked out of, once I got kicked out of a high class basketball school, it was like to come back to the Bronx and then go back to a regular school and then try to taste it again. I was just like, I didn't have it in me. And then especially, I lost my, I lost my grandmother at a young age, so I had to, I was forced to make money and try to find a way to live at the time. So, yeah, so I, I didn't have time for school. Yeah. So I had to just straight it out. And I just grew up fast. So I was like 16, making money and doing things and trying to get calls and stuff just because of, of my circumstances. I had to figure it out. I didn't have, Did you? Of, I didn't have nowhere to go at the time, things like that. So it was like I had to grow up. But now, for me, now I'm in jail. I'm who I am now. I yeah. got money. I'm 30. I'm good. It's like, all right, now I could try to go ahead, try to get my diploma, make my mom proud. Yeah. You know, meet those that, that want to see me. Like, when I'll go ahead and make them proud. It's like, it's never, it's never over. It's, it's never, never over. Ever. Yeah. Did you say you were 15, Nas, when you left? Yeah, I was 15. Really? So let me ask you, so is it is it hard? Like, how was that? How was, like, the, the, the courses and everything? How was that? It was easy. I was taking um advanced classes. So I was a freshman taking eleventh grade classes, tenth grade classes and I was trying to get a three point oh GPA for for me to get inside certain schools so get a basketball scholarship to go D one. Uh -huh. so it was like I was a smart kid and things like that. But unfortunately due to the circumstances of me going to school again, situations and things like that, I had to change my path. Like I didn't I couldn't I couldn't like as long as I the only reason why I was really driven to go that hard for School was really basketball. Once I lost the passion for basketball, it was like I right, started going ahead making money and doing certain things. And then I found passion for music. I, I can't hear anything. Yeah. Oh, can you talk a little bit louder? Because you kind of went in and out, and I didn't hear the last. Oh, I said um, I said the pa the passion for basketball. I lost once I lost the passion for basketball. It was like I lost love for school. Mm -hmm. I was really only doing school so I could play basketball and go D one. I was trying to get a three point oh GPA. I was taking advanced classes, taking eleventh and grade class at the time. And unfortunately to the circumstances of me getting kicked out of that school, it was like it was just over. So I went and just found passion for music and I just started what I did, I kept going from there. Wow. So it was like now that I'm I'm back now I'm at the where I'm at with music and things like that. I'm in jail, it was like I'm doing I'm, it's not like I'm doing nothing for myself, but I got certain things. Yeah. Like I'll face this is my schedule. I'll wake up in the morning go to school from 8 to 12 o'clock. 8 to 12 o'clock, I go to school, come back from 12 to 2, I got baby study, and then from 2 to 6 p.m., I got um, basketball practice, and then the locking time is at 9 o'clock. So I'll be in the housing area from like 6 to 15 to 9. I'm only in the housing area for three hours a day. Only day my day's over, Saturdays and Sundays. So it's like, my day's be fine. I don't even feel like I'm in jail sometimes. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> wow. And then there's, there's some... There's some times where after basketball practice at, at 6 o'clock, be in the studio. So 6 to 9, I'm at the studio. And sometimes you probably get some extra time. That's what it is. My day's over. Wow. Next day's on. Wow. Yeah. 
that's incredible. You you spoke about your mom. You said you wanted to make your mom proud. How does she feel about just this new this new Nas EBK and this transformation? How does your mother feel? My mom is very happy. She's proud of me. She, she's happy that I'm doing school because she always wanted me to finish school. Mm -hmm. She's happy that I'm not turned Christian. I believe in God and things like that. Uh huh. She's just happy that she's happy, like she's happy, that she's happy for the route that I'm taking and things like that. And I feel like God puts you in certain situations so He could like hide you from negative energy and things like that. So it's like, can you talk up a little I'm, more? I, I'm, I say God puts you in certain situations so He could hide you from negative energy and things like yeah. that. Like, so I don't look at it like yes, I be stressed and stuff that I'm in a situation. Yeah, I be stressed that I'm in a situation and stuff like that. But it's like I always find a positive about it. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't really try to sit there and I feel like God is doing this for a reason. Yeah. Kind of like for the change that I'm doing now. I come back outside. I could just be a better me. Yeah. It's like, that's really it. But don't get me wrong. Like, I still got certain things that I got to feel me. Like, yeah. the life, life that I chose, I still have to live it. Still have to feel me move a certain way and things like that. I'm not saying I would change all that. But my mindset has definitely changed. Like, I'm way more brighter and I'm, I'm going to move way different than what I used to. Yeah. But that's really it. Yeah, yeah. But like I'm, a, I feel like I'm maturing. Yeah. But like I was a, I was a really a young man. Some things I was doing, I was very immature. But now it's just like, I don't know. It's like you being at cell, and it's just like you should start thinking about a lot. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just changing. For the how, better though. How People long? People come to jail, lose their bond. I feel like I found myself. How long are you in your cell? You said you found yourself, but the the schedule that you gave, yeah. you're not really in your cell often by yourself, though, huh? Uh, yeah, but this 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 just started, so okay. it's like for at least seven or eight months of my bed, I was basically in the housing area a lot. I just got put on the basketball team and things like that because of, you know, what it was. I have a lot of like I'm a Rikers Island. I got a lot of my enemies in Rikers Island right now. Oh. I'm saying that I got beat for eighty percent of the building. So it's like, wow. So when, I, when I'm getting put into certain things, they fake panic because it's like a lot of people that want to do things. To me. So it's like, they would fake, they would fake double, double guessing on stuff to put on the basketball team. So I got to be around other inmates and things like that. So I'm like, bro, I'm already, like, I'm telling you, I'm good. I'll be all right. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? They finally put me there. I'm, telling, I, I'm giving them my word that I'm not going to do certain things. They finally touched me after like eight months. But it took a it took a while, so yeah. It took a lot, you said. I said yeah, it took a while. Wow. It took a while, cause they know I could play. They know I'm dominating the basketball, but it was just about how were people, how people go about things of us being in the same room in the mm -hmm. same vicinity, or how people react when my back is turned towards them. It's like I I can even easily turn them to me off guard or anything like that. So yeah. Yeah, and um. I want to ask you again, too, like, uh, so is there any other thing that you want to, like, any specific thing that you want to say to anyone or your fans specifically, um, just that you did haven't had the opportunity to speak on? Um, I'll say, uh, I gotta, I'll say, my fans, I'll say just stay in school, um, stay positive. Try to, try to, try to better yourself for you, not for nobody else. Um, be a pioneer or try to be a follower. And I'll say just, like, that's really it, to be honest. I don't really have nothing else to really say because it's like, the, uh, I already said everything. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah I don't really, but I think that them honest. hearing you is going to be what's going to be life changing. You know what I mean? Just, uh, yeah. You know, that's, you. That's one thing people say there is like when I get back home is like the way how I can talk to other people is very gonna be life changing and inspirational because of the fact how they see the change and how I'm moving with them. So, yeah. yeah really, oh, and and back really to think. the a question in regards to the music, Nas. You were telling us that you guys are recording in the studio. Where do you guys get the production from? Say, say it again. The production you were saying you guys are in this the booth in the in the studio. Where do you guys get the production yeah. from? Like, where are you getting the beats from from in prison? Oh, we get we get in beats. Um, basically, like they try to hide the Wi-Fi from us. They we make everything a big tip, but we'll go ahead, write down beats, and then they'll go ahead and download the beats. 
and that's really it. They'll download the beats that we want, or they'll go ahead and just grab a bunch of beats from this one artist. Like, for example, I tell them, go ahead and get a little T J type beat, a polo T type beat. Because okay. I don't really, I'm not really, I'm not, I like doing drill, but I don't really like drill no more. I don't find that that's You don't really music. like the drill anymore, you really, said? Yeah, I really, I don't, I don't know. I ain't really feeling it. But I feel like with me doing, with me doing melodic and things like that, yeah. I can still rap about things like that, but in a way better way, if you get what I'm trying to say. Kind of like on some little Dirk or Polo G type thing. That's what I've been on lately. Okay. So it's like, yeah, that's the type of, that's the type of vibe I've been doing and that's the type of things I've been doing. I, I feel like when I come home, I'm going to see a whole new, like, oh, I right, he on this type of time now. It's mm-hmm. like, oh, all right. I I'm love that. Songs and music and like that. I, I think I'm I'm so I'm so curious, Nas, to hear your music right with your fans. I'm sure they're like, we want to hear this new Nas EBK sound. I'm sure that they want to tap in. I I'm I'm really praying and hoping for the best for you, but more so just praying that you know you're out and back to you, your loved ones and your family sooner than later. I couldn't um, you know, ask for a better interview and a connection with you. Uh things sound like they're on the up and up. I mean, everything that you're doing, obviously, when you get out, you know, with the mentality, you know, not even the sky is the limit to where you're going to go, you know, with this type of mentality, you can go much further. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like I feel like I could be more than just an artist also. Yeah. But like, um, I'm going to try to get into acting. I was also oh, really? about to get into modeling also. I love well, I got that. Arrested. I, was, I, was about to, I was about to model for Ethica. He was about to give me a sponsorship and things. I don't know if you've seen, I had a picture, like, with a suit. And I took this one model and picture, it went viral. I had on, like, um, the, the Black Mafia family suit or whatever. Okay. And it was, it was everything was supposed to start there. I was going to do a lot of modeling shoots. And I was, it was a couple people that was interested in, for me to modeling their brands and things like that. Yeah. So I'm kind of stuck by what happened and things like that. Well, unfortunately, I'm in a situation, but it's like, when I get back, I'm going to expand on more than just being an artist. I'm going to wow. do a lot on a... I mean, your fans are going to love that. Doing a lot of things. So, yeah. I, I think that your fans are going to love yeah. seeing you modeling. And then you talked you talked about acting. What type of role would you want if you, if a director or someone came, producer, wanted to cast you on something? What type of role would be ideal for Nas? Say it again? What type of role would be ideal for you um, that, that you can think of? What type of role can you see yourself in? <laughs> um... <laughs> I say it could be like one of those. I say, for example, they can have a role where I'm playing basketball, and then I kind of it's basically like a like a street movie, things like that. Kind of okay. playing like a like a power role or something like that. Oh, okay. So they're like calm, like calm things. I feel like things that things that fit me or yeah. fit my lifestyle. You know what I'm trying to say, okay. like, yeah, I'm a drill artist or whatever. Um, like things that fit. Things that fit that like that lifestyle, like an upcoming. Let's say they have a role with an upcoming rapper. Oh, okay. and it'll be easy for me to do because it's like I I didn't live that life already. Yeah. Like, things like that. I would even go out of the box and try to do other things. So it's like as long as you give me a role, I feel like I could I could do it. Cause I always I got I got positive. I'm I'm just I believe in myself. I feel like I could get anything done. If you know what I'm saying? I put my mind to it. And that's yeah. important. That self belief is key. Like that's the number one yeah. thing. That's, you know, that's one thing I think to my fans: have confidence. Because there's one, there's one time where I dropped Bunny in a box. I made that song, and the same day I made Bunny in a box, I had some people tell me it was bullshit. I had some people say it was good. I dropped that song. I didn't think I was gonna be a rapper. When one week I had a million views, everybody loved it. Everybody, yeah. the people that saying it wasn't good. Yo, Nas, what we doing when you got the next video shoot? Just wow. believe in yourself. Don't let nobody try to bring you down for nothing. For nothing. I was, at, around that time, I had nothing going for myself. I was, I was just, at the time, making money, doing other things in the street, selling this, doing that. So it's like, for me to just make music and just believe in myself and put all that faith into me and just invest in myself, I, I just doubled that money by a lot became a big rapper and things like that, just have faith in yourself yeah. because others, they might not see it in you, but as long as you see it in yourself or you looking at mirror and you think you could do it, just do it. Because nobody else could. Like, a lot of people, there's a lot of envy, a lot of haters out there. And it's, it's real. Trust me, envy is real. I didn't see yes. hate. But it's like, just keep going. Like, no matter what, no matter how hard life gets, just keep going. Right now, 
I got told you, you I was fighting for. Left. I have four pending cases now. I'm down to one. Wow. I, I never thought it was over. I always look at it like I'm gonna be home someday. I'm gonna get through it. So yeah. it's like you just gotta have that in you to just let you know, me stay positive and just keep going. Like that's really it. Nice. I ain't gonna lie. Thank you so much for an incredible, impactful, empowering interview. I really, really appreciate it. And I wish you the best up in there. Take care of yourself and stay connected to God. And I hope to circle back around with you uh, in the near future because I see that the call is wrapping up. But I just wanted to send uh -huh. you my well wishes and prayers for you, okay? All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so, so much, much for having me on this platform. And I appreciate y'all. And, um, also, I would, I would try to stay connected with y'all. And I probably could get other artists that's in here to hop on a platform with y'all, too. I'll stay in contact with my manager and things like that. Aww. But thank you guys so much for letting me speak <laughs> to my family. I've seen the position that I am right now. I haven't been around. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm in jail. People, thank you for using the like that. But Goodbye. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Take care. That was incredible. You guys, I swear, if you didn't walk away from with anything, you walked away with such hope and inspiration. And I'm just so just like in awe because this was a type of interview. This is what I want. This is what my show is all about. And what Nas gave us was just a lot. I mean, even down to believing in yourself and the importance of, you know, the belief. It starts with the belief, right? And it just goes to show you that you can get in a negative situation and it can get turned around for the better. And so I'm really just hopeful with him. And I, I just really think that it's going to you know, be good for him. And I'm going to continue to pray for him. And I hope that his fans feel so, you know, just more connected with him um, now that they've got a chance to, you know, con uh catch up and and just to hear from him and the beauty of it is that we heard from him not word of mouth but we heard from him you know how he is doing and he said multiple times that he is doing well and as you can see he's doing so many great things in there and um i just can't wait to see when he gets out the impact that he will have the second time around on the industry, the music industry, as well as hopefully he'll be coming into my industry, which is the acting industry as well, and even connecting into the modeling and so forth. So it's incredible. This was definitely something really, really good. And I want to thank everybody for tuning in with me. I am L.A. Key. Thank you for L.A. Key in the afternoon. I hope all of my listeners, as I mentioned, walked away with like inspiration and that you guys give you something that, you know, you can take through the rest of your day that would empower you and just uplift you. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We will be back here tomorrow. Um, we have so many great things coming this week. We have, you know, more artists coming, more, dif you know, more different people coming in this week and just more inspiration, more motivation, more uh, empowerment. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to go into a move, a song before we close out. I was about to say movie, but a song before we close out. But if we do, we're going to get into beautiful feeling, which is what um, Nas left us with a beautiful feeling. Streaming online at Party1019.com. This is New York's number one for throwbacks. The new Party 1019, a Nexus radio station. If you can't read love, you're illiterate. They're feeling bigger than the internet. When it comes to thinking, you know we more than generous. Music for your soul every time you hear us. Don't be amazed if it's at your spirit. Heavenly melodies every time you hear it. You ain't gotta act when you know you're gifted. This ain't no Cali, it's a natural feeling. I'm higher than the ceiling. Beautiful, so appealing. Come, it's that spiritual healing. Nothing better than working on self and healing. Becoming my highest version. Can't deny I've been chosen. Set us hard, always been a loner. No pun intended, never been a stoner. Always been obsessed with going further. Levitating, educating my mind, elevating. Never been one for the hating. Wisdom and knowledge is power. Expand your mind and be empowered. Let's go higher, higher. It's that high vibration, self motivation, self transformation. 